Welcome folks, Flip Knot here. We're back up at Brat Star Garage. Uh, I gotta finish up on the sports here today because the tools that I borrowed from uh, Shelby, he wants back because he makes a living as a mechanic and using his tools, which rightfully so, they're his and he needs them and he makes money off of them. Hanging out up here, these nerds over here working on a bolt or whatever the hell that thing is. They're drinking beers and smoking cigarettes like a bunch of hoodlums. We're over here sipping on my coffee in 90 degree weather like a genius. I also can't procrastinate for too long because I'm gonna need somebody's help before they all leave. So let's get this started. All right, well, so I guess we should just begin and uh, basically all we gotta do is start from where we left off and work backwards. I'm gonna need a hand to pull the umbilical cord back through. So AJ's here, he's gonna give me a hand real quick, so. Quit saying so, you dumb piece of crap. Let's get started. Hey, girlfriend, I miss you. There we go, there we go, get in there, get under, there it goes. It's in its place, it's in its place. Well, now that we got the main cable fed through, well, I think we need to do a little bit more, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, hold in the stator, and then we'll do the other thing. Hold it up. Yes. There's a lot of sock on the other side. Check later. Some silicone around this little rubber part. So says Shelby. It's an entire new tube. You're the best, man. Welcome to Spooky Town. So these studio lights that somebody donated to us, thank you very much by the way, Andy. Um, for whatever reason, they like to turn off after a couple minutes and so I'm gonna let that rest because I need light and it's... Put your hand right here. Don't let that thing fall on you, right? Ready? Don't let it fall on you, dude. Or my bike. I don't like to run the house. Oh, no, that's... Why are you still using blocks, man? Oh, just uh, because this was off and I didn't want the bike to lean over. That's what? What is it? DNA. Oh, yeah? Did you, get, did you get excited? Let's see if Kyle's brake line holds. If his brake holds, good for him. Successful. If his brake fails, I'm selling the video. You know how to drive into the hospital, right? Now to find all the parts and where they go, because... <laughs> That's done. That's done. This goes back on. And 
the next part and apparently this has got to go a certain way and it's got to go that's got to be facing out make sure that's facing out well that explains why that doesn't work and because kind of ready my report Wrong way again. Apparently I plan on doing this correctly and using the manual that I have. So, red Loctite, foot pounds. 70 to 80 foot pounds. Red Loctite 262, red. Let's hope this never has to come out again. Would you will? When you're using snap rings, you're supposed to have eye gear on. Hell if I know, I hate snap rings. I don't want to use them. So, no, I know. Snap rings, eye protection. That's how evil they are. Snap ring, cheap snap ring pliers, eye protection. No more of that. Now for this giant thing that goes right there and it requires a lot of foot pounds to get that thing to do it. Who knows if I can do it? Let's find out. Let's find out what the torque specs on it first. Exact torque specs. I'm not one to argue with Shelby because he's always right, I'm always wrong. Shelby says it's about 260 foot pounds for the sprocket nut. There you are. Uh, my owner's manual, my manual says 155 to 165. I'm gonna text Shelby real quick, find out from him. Safe and sorry, kids. Well, I'd rather under torque it than over torque it. Cause at least that way I can just open it back up and fix that. We're under torquing. Right. Well 60 it is. Do not forget the red box, right? Because I had the adjuster underneath it. So, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Playing catch up, but I got this. I got it in, and I put on eye protection. <laughs> no, I just had an incident myself. Oh, did you? Yeah, I know, they're evil. 
They're, 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 they're pure evil. You said that the, the sprocket nut is like 256 foot pounds or whatever, right? 240 to 260. Um, my, 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 the manual you gave me says 155 to 165. That's because that manual's for an 09. Well, you said, it's the, the you said it's the same thing. The newer manual will say 240 to 260. Okay, well, I'll take the primary cover that I did not put on yet, back off, and I'll put some more uh, ass into that. <laughs> uh, you, did you put red Loctite on it? Yes, I did, sir. And what did you talk it to? Uh, it's at 160 right now. So I need an extra 100 pounds. You at least need 220. That's why I'm asking. That's why I'm calling. Double checking. So I knew you said that. And I, was, you didn't, I believe anything you say at this point. Yeah. So yeah, 220. All right, pop it back off and put a little bit more ass into it. I think I'm going to do that. Thank you so much, sir. No problem. I should have yeah, your shit back by tomorrow. Back. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. brings. You're evil. Right. All right, man. Oh, thank you. Well, you heard Shelby, so I gotta pop all that off. Thank God I didn't get that far, but I need another extra 100 pounds on this mofo. Uh, you gotta come back out. You gotta come back out. So, according to Shelby. What does Shelby know? Everything that we don't. I know. I'm just right here. Twerk this down and extra hundred foot pounds. Twerk it down, girl. Twerk it. Extensions, twerking. I don't know where the night's going, dude. <laughs> Fucking Broadway lounge after this. Ooh. Hold the bike again. Just give me five seconds to figure out exactly how this thing reads. No, that's just thick. Oh no, keep going. So that's got to go to the fifth. Alright. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Hit it. Woo! Thank you, NASA thing. Thank you, gentlemen. Woo! That's a lot of twerking. Yeah, I just wanted to saw your neck pain, but I'm pretty fucking rad. <laughs> Alright, where were we? That's right, I already did this part. Here we go. Hey, you want to come do this for me? I'll let you do this part, it's really annoying. Come on, come get your hands dirty. I'm a dick, Sergio's gonna give me a hand. Right there, all the way around. Thank you, sir. That was very, very helpful. Doing great. How you doing? So the drain bolt is magnetic. Make sure you clean it before you put it back on. Apparently, I don't think that all this crap that's on there is supposed to be good for the bike. No, I think I'm supposed to take off this. Yeah, that's gotta come. Oh yeah, that's right. I need a new O-ring for that. Tension about the width of the chain.
theoretically this is all done and the peanut gallery over here just wants to see me die. See if it works. Also, all I can think in my head right now is as soon as I start it up, it's gonna be that, that, uh, that dryer that you see the guy throw the brick into. That's my brain, it's like break. goddamn lift and see what happens next. Yeah. Well, the only way we're gonna know if everything's okay is if we go for a ride. So we're gonna go take a quick lap. Hopefully there's no warning lights and see what happens. Kick stand up, clutch in, let her rip. There it goes. Hey girl. No warning nights. Okay, so the shifter is a little high. I gotta adjust that. So far, so good. Everything sounds all right. I know, Shelby. It's on a cold bike, don't do it. Whoa, hey girl, hey. You are a jumpy little girl. gonna spend yet another night at the shop because I'm gonna ride this thing around for the day whoa hey let's pay attention to flip now that, that struggle is over it should be good for now well no I won't know till later because I gotta go ride it uh, I'm gonna go grab a beverage at the dirty chain so that'll be a good 10 mile hike on it see how it's doing and uh, we'll report back but on that note folks we know how this works. Don't forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, don't forget I'll catch you on the flip side.